Hello friends, welcome to my channel. Today we will discuss haplodiplontic life cycle. In haplodiplontic life cycle, main plant body is both haploid and diploid. Haploid means gametophyte and diploid means sporophyte. That means in haplodiplontic life cycle, both gametophyte and sporophyte are main plant body or multicell structure. Now moving to the examples. All bryophytes, all teridophytes and some algae show this type of life cycle. But we know most of the algae show haplontic life cycle. So here is a trick to remember the exceptional algae which show haplodiplontic life cycle. The trick is help. Here H represent haplodiplontic life cycle. E for ectocarpus, L for laminaria, P for polysiphonia and the word help is very similar to the word kelp. Now moving to the main part which is alternation of generation. As I told earlier in haplodiplontic life cycle both gametophyte and sporophyte are multicell structure. So you can see here. First, you have to understand one thing very clearly, which is in case of mitosis, ploidy level remains same. That means diploid structure remains diploid and haploid structure remains haploid. But in case of meiosis, ploidy level becomes half. That means a diploid structure becomes haploid by meiosis. Here, Gametophyte form gametes. Gametophyte and gametes both are haploid structure. That's why gametophyte form gametes by mitosis. There are two types of gametes, male gamete and female gamete. After fusion, they form zygote. Zygote is a diploid structure. And sporophyte also is a diploid structure. That's why zygote form sporophyte by mitosis. Then sporophyte form spores. But sporophyte is a diploid structure and spores are haploid structures. That's why sporophyte form spores by meiosis. Then spores form gametophyte by mitosis. Because spores and gametophyte both are haploid structure. Hope you understand. If the video is helpful for you, then hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.